Welcome back to our channel Market Forecast Investment. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how I filter the top 30 index stocks of the Philippine Stock Exchange. We have 30 listed stocks. We can sort them by alphabetical based on their potential growth from its 52 week high from its 52 week low. And on the right side here of the screen, we have the year-to-date performance of the specific stock. So here is actually a delisted from the top 30, which is Converge, but it's still appearing on our screen that Converge previous year longs to the chips. That's why we tend to include it on the list so that we can also see its potential uh, upside if it will be again included on the index. So, I have here the stock codes, the top 30, and its last price, which is updated. And we have this median price. This median price is very easy. We just get the difference of the 52 week high and 52 week low. After getting the difference, we get the average from that difference and we add up to the 52 week low. So this is the formula. So it means our 52 week low plus the 52 week high minus the 52 week low over 2 or the average of these two numbers. We get the average which is the neutral price. So if the current trade price is below that we term as median, we are certain that the price is cheaper more viable there is the potential upside of this stock for recovery so here i listed this at least top 15 the half of the stocks which were trapped last this november 28 so the end and closing of the month of november so the potential upside of converge that time was 39 percent from that current level so on last friday's closing these are already the updated uh, potential growth to the median from the current price to the median price so the current price is 16 to the median price is 22 so there is a good um, growth of this specific stock price if the price will reach the median price so if so as you can see on november 28 and up to date 30 from 39 percent upside so that upside now will have decreased so what does it mean the stock has moved up so let's proceed from asin or ace energy from november 28 it has a potential upside of 23 percent so from the last friday's closing the upside to the median price which was 8.39 is now have gotten lower at 15.9 so the stock actually go up so you if you get the difference so you have already a portfolio growth of 7.52 less the charges is one 1.19 so that's around 6.4 portfolio growth only by following this sim simple um, personalized or you know um, conceptualized brilliant idea so for glow or globe telecom globe um, November 28 it has an upside of 21 but on current closing price last Friday the upside becomes 27 so what does it mean the stock went, went down actually so the stock went down the stock went cheaper so if we get the difference we also have a loss of 6.5 percent this is this will just be serve as your guide which among the top 30 which are that are the 15 stocks that are belonging to the be below their median prices so there are a lot of reasons why the price is trading below their median price maybe the stock is trending down the stock is in sideways or in a massive correction so that's why uh, the stock has heavily hit by the previous you know uh, catalysts it needs to have their business re-evaluated for it to make its recovery for the near future. I have explained the best part so all of this is, will just be served as my guide and each of them I analyze separately 
on my technical analysis using the system LFAQ. I have shown here from additional fundamentals which are also serve, would serve as guide. You can also filter. You can filter from the largest. So number one and number two, LTG and SEC made it this year's um, top yielder dividend. 15.7 and 15% from it actually was growing from the last year's dividend yield which was 10.9 and 13.5 respectively for LTG images. Next in line was Tel, PLDT and Meralco 5 zipper. So this will be for can be maximized utilized by if you're an investor or you're a trader or short short term you can actually make use of this and i will be posting this uh, updates for this once in every week so that we will keep track of these listed stocks which are below the medium prices thank you and we have a nice day